Welcome to the Pin My Setup Highlights for episode number 242. The first set of the day was submitted by Cameron. This guy is a graphic designer. I just kind of want to like, I don't know how I feel about that. God, the, the you must be literally licking your monitors if you wanted to. Add a set out of mind as well. A lot of stuff on the desk that we don't need to see. It. iPhone uh, box, little things here and there. Remotes should go in a drawer. They should be under the desk. Whatever it is, there should be a solution for that. A lot of shit on the floor. Uh, I mean, my dude's got like... Uh, Clarinet, a little bit of cable management will go along with that. Get a better desk. Cameron scored a 64. The next setup was submitted by Anthony. This is his university setup. He can't put much on the walls. There was already a nail there for that one thing. Having both of those amps there makes it look even worse. So I, I, I take that off, pop that under the desk, uh, and that would look a lot nicer. Why do you need two extremely small amps? I'm not sure. Are you using them for speakers? Can you do that? I really hope not. I mean, you can. Some of them do have the inputs and, you know. Because it seems like he's got the left speaker and the right speaker. I re if that's what you're doing, then I honestly think this makes no sense at all. Wouldn't you agree, Tom, that he technically has enough room to put the monitors further over to the right, put the desk more on top of the, the Alex drawer, and put the PC on top? Still, it would have been fine. Anthony scored a 58. Next setup was submitted by Marcus. Really, you could have made that. You could have done such a simple solution for that. You know, run it down the leg for real. I don't know if I'm a huge fan of it being right there, but that's whatever. That's besides the point. Which, by the way, I would probably put that on the right side um, behind the right monitor because that would make a little bit more sense for cable management. It could all go behind that. I don't know. It's just super simple. I think having the headphones over there, that's not usable. That's kind of stupid more than anything. I get it. You want to show them off, but you can at least do that to the wall on the right side. Marcus scored a 66. The next setup was submitted by Cam. This is an insanely cool room. Not I don't know me. how I feel about the TV. Man, that is high as f It makes no sense though. Really though, it's super cool theme wise. I uh, really like what you're going for. Out of sight, out of mind makes a lot of sense. You only have things that you use on your desk, which is nice. Cam scored a 94. The next setup was submitted by Nathan. I want to give him props because it looks like he's, you know, he's spackling the wall getting ready for a repaint. The whole idea of the furniture and the stuff you're using is just confusing to me because you have like one of those little ottoman foot thingamajigs and it has a PlayStation on it. Not really the best idea. Cable management, I mean, really it should be going down the leg and you just kind of follow it there. That would be better. Nathan scored a 66. The next setup was submitted by Kyle. I like the idea of the, the TV. You know, I'm usually not Personally, I don't think I would ever do that, but having the TV as your main display, that's cool because you game. Those side displays though, I just feel like they're so useless. Ugh. I, I, I don't know, I just not really buying into the to the layout. What I've seen before is they some people have like a big TV and then they have them vertical. In the next photo, you see where he put his controllers and you then again have to come to this conclusion like this doesn't really make a lot of sense. It doesn't have room for triple yeah, monitors. It's not like it fits under the stand like you have to literally reach your arm around to grab the controller so kyle scored 72. the next setup was submitted by levi i know every person that doesn't like really care too much about setups or you know doesn't really know what they're talking about or doesn't really care for theme or anything they're probably jacking off to this right now like oh god <laughs> this setup is probably the most boring waste of money ever you don't use it for gaming if you do you're using the main display and that's it what a waste of monitors absolutely boring white on white on white on white your shelves are full of absolutely nothing you have a damn s douche way this has got to be boring you're missing speakers uh do you see headphones levi scored 74. the final set of the day was submitted by kyle i mean it's unfortunate that you have the two different desks and i get it this is kind of how the the cookie crumbles sometimes but i think if you were to get the uh, the matching linmon that would fit and you'd have a little bit of an L desk. He really did a damn good job. Everything's clean, yeah. It looks like a really nice chill pad. And really seeing the panoramic, it makes me enjoy your setup a lot more because it's like, damn, this guy has a cool ass room. Kyle scored an 86. Cam walked away with first place with a 94. Thanks for watching the Pin My Setup highlights for episode number 242.